Today, we honor an extraordinary woman, Marion Wright Edelman, who, like Jefferson, has had a profound impact on our world. It's been very moving to come and look at the slave quarters and, uh, and to see all the new scholarship that's coming out about the Hemings family and Thomas Jefferson. And, and this robust debate is about kind of, you know, helping us move forward. Honoring our history, all of it, um, is, a, is, a, is, a, is the road to our cure and our growth as a nation to make it real in everyday life. And so I think that this is a moment I call it an inflection point where we're either going to make another big spurt forward um, to make an America, America, and realizing the reality of those, those wonderful words of Mr. Mr. Jefferson, or we're going to move backwards, but we're not going to move backwards. We have got in this day and time, and to close the gap between the creed of our nation embodied in the brilliant Declaration of Independence of Thomas Jefferson and the deeds of our nation and make it a nation where every child has a level playing field and every child is respected and educated and safe. What an opportunity we have now to confront our birth defects of slavery, of Native American genocide, of the exclusion of all women from the electoral process, of the exclusion of all non profited men of all colors from the electoral process, and I just hope that we can make life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness um, a real thing for every child in America, every citizen in America, and what a wonderful opportunity we have been left by the vision of Thomas Jefferson to make us the most distinctive, and I hope at one point in our future, the holiest nation in history.